This is going to be a video which will demonstrate the creating an ISO core map in this case. This is the Kamano data set. It is, as you recall, a data set that is in depth, so ISO core will give us the relative thickness in meters between two horizons. I've made two horizons here, one called Top Kamano 3. I don't actually remember if when I did this surface it actually matches the Kamano 3 top that is in the paper, but, the, uh, but I also then put a second uh, surface underneath it, Top Kamano N, uh, just too arbitrary. You'll see that those particular horizons are over here. Um, so what I'm going to do is try to make an isochore map out of these two uh, surfaces. The way I'm going to do this is I'm going to double click on the top one, the one that's above the other, which in this case is Top Kamano 3. I'm going to double click it and hopefully something will come up here. And we're going to go, if this normally might come up with the Style tab or Info, in this case we're going to go to Operations tab. And we're going to go down. When you first see it, it will look like this. Under Calculations, we want to open up the options, and we want to make thickness map. Now, this would work uh, for uh, time maps. If you had time sections, everything would be in milliseconds two-way time. Here, it will be in meters. Okay, now, because I have started this in the top, horizon, top surface, top Kamano 3, it really doesn't show up here, but it's just a setting related to this. So I'm going to click Make Thickness Map once, and it's now going to ask for the base surface. In other words, the thing that's below the other. <clears throat> in this case, um, it's, there's something already in here, Top Kamano N, but the way I would put that in there would be to go select Top Kamano 3 and hit the blue arrow, and it would put 3 in there. That's not what I want. What I want is Top Kamano N, so I will select it and we'll reload it so it's now top Kamano N. Uh, we don't need to worry about this right now and whenever you see these operations they almost always have a run button. Often most things that you do you're just going to apply or say OK and it will make the change you've requested. Here you actually are going to make a new data set and so you want to use the run button. If you just say apply or OK it won't do anything. So I'm going to hit run and watch over here because it will create a new entity. The entity that it has just created is thickness between top Kamano 3 and move this over a little bit and top Kamano N. Okay, that makes sense. So now I can say OK to put this, uh, put this uh, window away. Now what we have here, the temptation is to go ahead and click this and when we do, uh, if it will even uh, accept it, uh, we're not seeing anything because this isn't now a depth, which is what these are. It's actually a thickness. Um, Got to figure out how to get rid of that permanently. Um, the thickness. So what we're going to need to do is to look at this in a 2D window rather than in this window, because it just doesn't overlay on this, because these are numbers like um, 1,200 uh, meters, 2,500 meters, things like that. And these thicknesses are going to be a much smaller number. So I'm going to go to the 2D window I have open up here, and I'm now going to put the thickness in here. Now what we're seeing is this is sort of the, the landward side of the data set, and I'm going to go in and, and uh, reset the colors so that they're a little less garish here. So I'm going to go to color, I'm going to override, I'm going to put the max and the min. Um, and I'm going to say OK. Now I have a sort of gentler range of colors here. These are areas we've got, got happen to have my, my thickness in depth um, color bar up. And you'll notice that at the top here the purples are 225 meters. goes down to zero and it actually goes negative. The negative actually indicates that the lower horizon in the part of the area where it's kind of orange here is a part where it, uh, it actually overlapped and the, what was the base actually became the, became the top. So that's mostly because of areas where we didn't have data picked everywhere and as a result we ended up with some things that were mean, meaningless. 
However, we saw, and we'll, we'll go back, notice here in this part of the, uh, the, the landward area, we have a fairly thick section, and as we come to the, down to the, to the south and to the east, we're getting thinner and thinner. So if we go back to the 3D window, we see this is the landward side, and indeed the, uh, the uh, isocore should become thicker here and thinner, and if we displayed it right, we could actually see that these actually crisscross each other, which is, um, which is not really a good thing. Um, so this is the way to create a thickness map or isocore map. Um, I think that's really about it. Uh, thanks.